What's up then guys, this is iTech 63 once again and today we are going to be working on Adobe Flash um, we are going to be creating a intro, web intro or video intro as you just um, previewed just before I started talking so the first thing what we'll need to do is get your internet browser there are a few browsers do not that do not let you do this um, due to the fact that you cannot get the page source up, but Google Chrome definitely does it, and it's one. Of, it's probably my favourite web browser of all. Uh, so first of all, type into Google tem template monster, and just click on the first one. All right, when you get to this page, just go to Flash Intro Templates and well the first ones do not begin the actual ones you can use do not begin until page two right down at the bottom there are a few that you can use I've used this one here it cost £107 but as you can see some of them you have to find a the video the actual page that has the click here for preview because on the newer ones, the more expensive ones as well, as I'll just show you here, it automatically comes up with the preview box, so that's why you cannot do it. So now, if I go to page three, I think I'll go to, and I like say this one. This one has a click here for preview. And what you have to do first of all is if you click on it. The preview box appears. This is the actual video that you want. So now all you do is copy the link up here at the top. So if you just copy it, and you can close that now. Paste it into your web browser, but don't hit enter or go. Or what you have to do is take off the HTML and replace it with SWF. As you can see, it's the video now. So all we need to do is go to on here on Google Chrome. You just click on this little app button here and go to um, Save Page As. I'm just going to save it into my Flash folder. Just call it Tutorial One, and now we can just save it. Okay, next thing we're going to need is we can get rid of this. Let's go back to my Google. And, well, actually, I type it up here. Is SWF the compiler? All, right, all this does is converts SWF files into Flash files. Um, so you need Adobe Flash for this. Um, you can download it. The free download for Flash is in the description and along with all the links that you will need and here it is, here's my flash that's opened up so you need an action script 2 file I'm just going to fit it in my window and now we're going to open up our SWFD compiler um, continue, you don't need to insert a key because I think the it lasts forever anyway so now what you need to do, up here it says quick open so you find your SWF file and as you can see it's here and now over here where it says resources or you can do it up here I just, you just click export FWA, FWFLA and export it to the place you want and OK um, just hit OK and it's as you can see the time bars down here progress bar I'm just going to pause the video and I'll be back short ok so we're back now I can close my SWF decompiler and open up my flash folder where my video is saved here it is it's um, around here somewhere tutorial1.fl now we can drag it into our 
flash, very the flash. It sometimes will take a minute or two. Um wait there a second. Um or we can go to just wait for, I'm just gonna pause the video once again to wait for. And it should come up with this, hopefully. If that does not appear, then you can go to File. If you can't do it that way, go File, Import, Import to Stage, or Import Video, it doesn't really matter. Right, now down here, if you click on Library, you can see all of the parts here. So if you could just keep going down, up here, it's got the little preview part of what, what item it is. You don't really want any buttons if you're using it as a video file. That's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to delete all my video, all the buttons. And if that works, it should hurry up. Oh, so all that's really all you need to do. Just keep doing this. Delete everything you do not want. Like all the text, change the text, not delete it. But if I show you where the text is down the bottom, there is one sound usually that I think it's this one. Really, I don't think that one, it might be this one. I ain't got it. Sorry about this, uh, my driver just needs to be updated. So now, that's basically it, just change the text. As you can see, if I scroll down, keep going down, there is loads of different text that you can change. Um, so if you have any questions, just um, post a comment, email me at itech at, at com, itech63 at live.com. Um, subscribe, please, if you want, and that's it. Now, see you next time. Till then.